So guys, hopefully you enjoy this nice sunset kind of uh, looking uh, with the sun. And today I'm going to be doing another awesome survival kit. And this is going to be my sandwich bag survival kit. Essentially, if you were going into a survival situation, you can have either one thing, a sandwich or the survival bag. So let's get started. So just like my pill bottle survival kit, I put a lot of thought and effort into this kit. And I'm honestly very happy with how it turned out. And I think bang per buck, I think this is actually the best thing. And here it is. It's a piece of pizza, but not just any piece of pizza. This is pepperoni pizza. And this is really great because pepperoni pizza is kind of like the survival kit of the food world. I mean, you starting off have the bread, you know, the high quality bread, and then you have the sauce, which is awesome. And you know, that's where you get your kind of vegetable, you know, tomato sauce, it's really good. And then you have cheese and then you have meat for your proteins. So it's a very good, you know, it covers a lot of bases it's just overall very awesome so I mean that is my one thing that I have to have in my sandwich survival kit now hopefully you aren't like everyone else in the pill bottle survival kit that disliked this and thought that was my serious kit this is my real kit obviously guys I just like to mess around with you guys and hopefully you appreciate some of this more humorous stuff but today we will be getting into my actual uh, sandwich bag survival kit. Now you guys can probably see a lot of the contents because this is a clear survival kit and this is the actual uh, sandwich bag size. Uh, I wasn't really sure because there's a lot of variation. Different people do different things but I want to stay true to the concept and actually use a sandwich bag size though you can tell this is pretty full by this uh, wanting to snap back you know this is definitely a packed kit and I got as much as I really possibly could to get this uh, closure now I would recommend another thing if you want to take this even more seriously uh, this sandwich bag survival concept I would try and use the hefty bags that use sliders uh, so some bags this one is a ziploc and it uses like clicks like that that's not as good if you use the slider you can pack your bags even more full of the contents and so that is my ultimate recommendation but this one works pretty good and in fairness there's still a lot of stuff in here certainly all the five c's of survivability are covered. so with that out of the way let's actually get into what's in here now like i said you guys probably can see most of it so there's no real surprises here but the first thing and one of the most important things since this is a sandwich bag survival kit obviously I'm not fully able to boil water in this but however I could still capture water with this or one other thing I'll show you in here and I could use these iodine tablets to purify the water that I could still get with this bag another thing I add in here for quick fire is chapstick brand chapstick and of course chapstick brand chapstick uses petroleum base for its mixture and the petroleum base helps you to whatever you're going to light on fire the petroleum will soak in and help you burn that particular item longer so the next thing in the first sea of survivability that I'm going to get into is cargo tape and of course just a classic roll of duct tape it's really great you can use or you can incorporate duct tape in many different ways but that's just the way I chose to uh, the next sea of survivability and the biggest thing here uh, and I really had to cram this thing in here but is a mylar blanket and once again that was a little bit of a trick to get in here because I am using the sandwich size basket or not basket sorry bag uh, but I was able to get a full uh, mylar sized blanket in there or mylar blanket full size in there and it did end up working so the next part, and once again another piece you guys can see, or the next C of survivability is cordage. And once again I'm carrying around 15 feet of cordage in a butterfly hitch there. Um, now this next part is not a sea of survivability, but it is a whistle or some kind of signaling device. This one, it just so happens to be a whistle. This is a Fox 40. These are really awesome. I don't know why people don't use as many Fox 40s anymore, but I really like them. And they are ultra loud whistles. I'm not going to blow it out here because I don't want to like make a large amount of noise. But it is a Fox 40 and these are very, very loud. So the next part is combustion, and this is of course just my good old classic uh, LMF or Light My Fire 
Army, the 12,000 strike ferro rod. Very good, very quintessential. Uh, I've always loved those ferro rods. In fact, I actually finally broke my Scout like a week ago uh, because I was using it so much. So that was a little unfortunate, but I actually snapped it right toward the top of it. Uh, so I actually have like a smaller ferro rod. And I'm thinking about how I can plug that into uh, other survival kits. So stay tuned to see some of the other survival kits I'm going to be coming up with utilizing that. So the next thing is just cotton, and this is a bandana, once again tied off to keep it in a uh, you know nice bound kind of thing, because if you don't tie it off or do something to tie it off, what I found is that the bandana will kind of just naturally unspring, and if it unsprings or kind of just undoes itself, that actually takes up more room in the survival kit. So I just leave it tied like, like that, so that I can get the most out of my survival kit. So the next thing and almost last thing, by the way, I forgot to mention this was a sea of survivability. And uh, the next, the last thing is uh, cutlery. And for this, I decided to mix it up. I could have easily put the Eldris in here and I was really half tempted to actually put the Eldris in here because the Eldris is just such an awesome knife. But I decided to switch it up and go with the Benchmade 275 Adamus just to fit in with this whole hardcore survival. This is a really big and tough knife. I think it'd actually be a great addition to a survival kit, uh, though it is a little bit spendy in all fairness. So you may not want to put this in a survival kit just for the fact that it's like a near $200 knife. But if you can, great survival knife. Like I said, really big. And that was kind of one of the reasons why I wanted to go with this knife, because I know if I went with the Eldris, while it is a fixed blade and that's awesome, I would have had to compromise, you know, largely in blade slash handle length, whereas this one gives me plenty of blade and handle length as you guys can see there so really great and then lastly and I want to thank uh, one of my commenters or viewers slash commenters uh, and he commented on the pill model survival kit or no it was the ultimate bottle survival kit and he was he brought up a really great point that I actually never thought about before and now I'm incorporating and that was that he mentioned that it's great and fine and awesome to have this kit full of gear but what do you want to or what are you going to do with all this gear when you actually want to fill the water bottle up with water and since you have no other storage capacity except for maybe something on your body maybe you know if you happen to have anything in your survival situation that you can put gear on yourself with then that's a plus but you know you have nothing in that kit that will actually stow all your gear while you use your water bottle. And so that was a great point. And while I do think if I was really in a survival situation, I could probably dump the gear in one spot and, you know, like get water and do all that stuff. But uh, that was a great point. So I decided to roll in. I don't even know how I got this uh, plastic bag, but this is just a perfect plastic bag because it's really tidy uh, and you can see how it like folds up like this. So it actually has a very small profile, but when expanded, it's around a little over a foot long and it's just a perfect plastic bag for this. Once again, I have no idea where I got this, but I just saw this lying around. I was like, this would make an excellent uh, piece to have in this kit. And once again, it gives me the means to stow all this other gear uh, if I ever want to use this for water or vice versa. If I want to use this for water, you know, I could still stow all my gear in this piece or in this bag, which I already know will hold all this gear. So that uh, that is the kit. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And, and uh, tell me which one would you choose, pizza or all of this? <laughs> I don't know. I'm actually kind of tempted to choose the pizza, but... <laughs> Anyways, guys, uh, don't like I said, don't forget to comment, like, share, subscribe, and tell me what your thoughts are on the kit. And if you guys have any ways that you would improve this kit, definitely leave them in the comment section below because I will feature them if they are really good and handy, helpful tips. Anyways, guys, that's it for now, and I'm out.